cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe, and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Good morning, and welcome to day six. Day six of Vlogmas. So today we're gonna take AJ lunch. He's at a field trip today near my job. I'm going into the city. Yes, I'm dressed up a little bit. <laughs> I cleaned up a little bit. So we're gonna go into the office and um, hopefully by then I can get some coffee. It's cold out. It's in the 40s again. So it is cold and we're gonna head on to, into the office. I want to talk to you guys at some point about if you are someone who wants to move from a city area into a rural area. It's a world of a difference. Because going into Atlanta, even though people think that Atlanta is, yes, it's in Georgia, it is not country. In the city, it's not country. It's a whole metropolitan area. I have lived in Los, I was born in New York. I have lived in Los Angeles, Boston, a lot of big metropolitan areas. Traffic, I thought LA traffic was bad. Atlanta, baby, you better know the side roads. And that's what we're taking today. We're taking the side roads. Okay. All right. So we're going to go into the city and get his lunch, take it to him and surprise him on his trip. See, now when you get to the city, this is what you got to deal with. I'm at a dead stop. Look at it. Somebody pulled out the Christmas decorations. Look at that. Yeah, the tree up and everything. They said they pulled the tree out so that <laughs> they said they pulled the tree out <laughs> thinking that I was going to decorate it. No. <laughs> no. So in the past, I have decorated this tree. But I'm not doing Oh, look how cute. Oh, snow globe. Look at the Santa. Look at Santa. I am cold. I need some coffee. Okay, that coffee was terrible, so I had to get some tea. I gotta warm up. Cause I gotta go back outside. I need to warm up. All right, guys, let's go take AJ his lunch, and then we're going out to lunch as well.
fun so far? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. So we just got back from creating our own art. And it was really nice. Awesome. Yeah, we even got to use like these paint sticks. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. I'm back in the car and lunch was great. I'm on my way now to pick up AJ in that Atlanta traffic, honey. So I will see y'all when I get there because I need to pay attention. Gotta pay attention. I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top. Harry and David. Harry and David. So when I saw that box and I saw what it said, I was like, yummy treats are waiting for me. <laughs> and I know exactly who sent it. And I thank them because they sent one last year. It's a community partner that I do some work with and they're so sweet. They're so, so sweet. I wanna um, get it out of here. Oh my gosh, they wouldn't wanna come out. Hold on y'all, let me get it out the box. I love some Harry and David. Let me tell you, baby, I love Harry and David. So I used to live in Los Angeles and I worked in the entertainment industry. And people love to give you gifts in the entertainment industry. I mean, I think probably almost every industry I've worked in, even with military, people, you know, want to give gifts. But we used to get Harry and David. So when we would get our Christmas bonus, we would get Harry and David, a big stack like this. We would get, and it would come, but it would come in like box, like like a, a big basket, like wine and all these yummy goodies. And then you get your check was in there. They have an envelope with your check. And I remember one year we got like silver bowls, like from this place in Beverly Hills, like real silver bowls. And you know, that you can put your nuts and stuff in. I was like, who, who does that? Like who gives you stuff like that? But I'll take it. 
<laughs> I'll take it. So guys, I wanted to talk about this. <laughs> this was like the whole subject of today. I had this on over a long black. It was really, it's like a coat sweater. It's not a coat and it's not really a sweater. It's like really thick sweater. Sweater coat, I guess you call it. But I had this on over it. And like, there's like a little slit right here and you just slide this piece in. It's a faux fur collar. And I've worn this one with blazers over dresses over coats you can put it over your coat and um just to really give you some warmth it's nice to wear during the holidays um if you're going to a party it just helps to elevate whatever you're wearing um it looks so it's just it feels good it's but it's full fur um but yeah and i got it on amazon years ago it's about seven, eight, about eight years ago in 2015. So it's eight years. So I've had it eight years. And I have a couple other pieces. I have the big fur thing that goes around your head. I have the little muff. And then I have um, the the big shawl. It's like a fur. The, the whole thing is, is the faux fur. It's a shawl that comes all the way down over your arms. It comes to like to my waist. Um, probably a little bit lower than like hip area and I have that one and I wear that one when I wear gowns I just wore it just recently to the veterans ball um, last month so yeah I just wanted to talk about this because I know you probably saw this people were stopping me like touching oh, I, I need that I need that I can tell you where to get it get it on Amazon <laughs> So I'm going to link it in case anyone is interested. I'll link it as well. So we had a really good day other than the traffic. So AJ, you know, I walked down, took him lunch. And um, the museum. If you've never been to the High Museum, if you live in Atlanta, you live in Georgia, or are you visiting Definitely go to Midtown, go to the High Museum, beautiful museum, gorgeous. I, I love museums. Um, AJ is an amazing artist. He loves to sketch. He loves to, he does polymer clay. He does figures out of polymer clay. He does, um, he creates figures and things in robotics out of Legos and his Legos move honey they don't just stand still they move they open they close they spin he's amazing with Legos like and they don't even come in a kit like he just creates it he'll sit in his closet like a master like it's like a mastermind like he's in a mad like a mad scientist in in his laboratory creating things and he comes out and he's like look what I created <laughs> I'm like I'm like okay like I used to sketch as a kid but nothing like him so I love that for black history last year they assigned him a um a artist Jacob Lawrence and he did a great uh presentation on Jacob Lawrence last year and um, so yeah I love that anywho we went to some colleagues met me at Colony Square because it's down it's just one block from the museum and we went to I think the name of the restaurant was Selena's and it was our first time going to that restaurant we we've gone to other restaurants right there um, we've been to almost every restaurant in Midtown so Hey, when you got to work, you got to eat good, you know? So the restaurant was really cute. It's Italian. Um, I had black lentils with black, drizzled with black uh, truffle oil and a pan seared salmon, topped with a pan seared salmon and some microgreens. So good. So good. Then a colleague had mussels and a side of pasta. And then the other had also had pasta with chicken. So hers was like almost like it looked like a ziti or a rigatoni with um, 
with a, a, a chicken pomodoro type sauce. It had chicken in it. So, so good. And now we're back home. And I'm going to wash up. And tomorrow we're going to do some planting. So yesterday, you know, I purchased the pansies, those giant purple pansies. I want to plant those tomorrow. And I have another like a little DIY. I might do a little DIY crafting tomorrow as well. So I got to hang up my wreath as also on the gate. And um, I think there are a couple more lights I need to put out. So, yeah. So I hope y'all have fun hanging out with me today. Thank y'all so much if you made it this far. And I will see y'all tomorrow. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm.